Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket in thy storehouse. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. And Yahuwah shall send upon thee cursings, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to, to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doing whereby thou hast forsaken me. Yahuwah shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whether thou goest to possess it. Yahuwah shall smite thee with the consumption and with the fever and with the inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thy perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass. And the earth that is under thee shall be iron. And Yahuwah shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. Yahuwah shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before and them. And shall be removed unto all the kingdoms of the earth. Not just Germany. All the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth and no man shall fray them away. Yahuwah will smite thee with the botch of Egypt and with the emeralds and with the scabs and with the itch whereof thou canst not be healed. Yahuwah shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noon day as a blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Thou shalt be trod a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Tell me this didn't happen in slavery. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Tell me that didn't happen in slavery. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Tell me this didn't happen in slavery. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from thee before thy face and shall not be restored unto thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thy shall have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. In there shall there be no might in thine hand, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors 
shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always, so that thou shalt be mad in, thy, in the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Yahuwah shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with the sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. Yahuwah shall bring thee in thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation, whether thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and Stone, wooden cross, Christianity, stone, Muslim, the cobblestone. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Nigger, coon, porch monkey, jigaboo. Eat your watermelons, you little sambo. That's known all over the world. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahuwah shall send thee. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather but little in, for the locusts shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but thou shalt not drink of the wine, nor gather the the grapes for the worm shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coast, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine olives shall cast her fruit. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. And all thy trees and fruit of the land of thy land shall the locusts consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thy shall be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, until thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahuwah the Elohim, to keep his commandments, and his statutes, which he command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. This is a sign even in 2012. It didn't end in 1948. He said forever. Verse 46 again of Deuteronomy 28. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not Yahuwah thy Elohim with joyness and, and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which Yahuwah shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Yahuwah shall bring a nation against thee from afar, not Germany, from afar, something like United States, and Yahuwah shall bring a nation against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle 
flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor shall favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee neither corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thine kind, or flocks of thy sheep, until he have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, until thy high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, throughout all thy lands, which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherein thine enemies shall distress thee in the siege in uh, 70 AD. That is the siege when Romans surrounded Jerusalem in the straightness in the uh, transatlantic uh, slave trade. That's the straightness. Verse 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him in the siege, and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband, in her bosom of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward her young ones that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children which she hath which she shall bear for she shall eat them for one of all things secretly in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gate. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear the glorious and fearful name, Yahuwah, thy Elohim, then Yahuwah will make thy plagues wonderful in the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sickness, and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the disease of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law. Then will Yahuwah bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim. And it shall come to pass that as Yahuwah rejoice over you to do you good and to multiply you, so Yahuwah will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and ye shall be plucked from off the land 
whether thou goest to possess it. And Yahuwah shall scatter thee among all people. That's not just Germany, Hitler. That's among all people. I'm telling you, no one fulfills Deuteronomy 28 like we do. 64. And Yahuwah shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. You tell me there's not blacks everywhere. And the earth even unto the other. And there shalt thou serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but Yahuwah shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Thou will be hung on trees, Thou will be burned and stakes. These people have the rights to kill you and beat you and do what you want to do. This happened during uh, the slaves, during slavery. Read this. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. In the morning shalt thou say, would Elohim it were evening? And in the evening would thou say, Would Elohim that it was morning? Woo! And in the morning thou wilt say, Would Elohim it was evening? And in the evening would thou say, Would Elohim it were morning? For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see, and Yahuwah shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. These people don't have to go to Egypt in ships. Egypt is walking distance. It's next door. This is spiritual Egypt. This is bondage. This is bondage. We had to go into spiritual Egypt, America, and all the coasts everywhere in Ships. Verse 68. And Yahuwah shall send thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way of thereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt not see it no more again. And there shalt thou be sold unto thy, your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Used to when you were sold in slavery, people can buy you out of slavery. Not anymore. Not when we came over here. I challenge anybody to read this Deuteronomy 28. I challenge you people, read it. The curses fit us. They don't fit those fake Jews over there right now. He said it would be upon us forever. Verse 46 of Deuteronomy 28, 46. These curses will be on us forever. 2012, we are still in captivity. Thank you, and shalom.